to know his mysteries, you must first start by fearing the Lord God, loving him, obeying him, denying yourself and picking up your cross and following after him. The mystery of Babylon. The Lord brings up the old serpent in the book of Revelation. Why though? Have you ever considered why is it that Satan as a serpent is not really mentioned that much? Only in the book of Genesis is there a real emphasis of Satan as the serpent. But here we get to the book of Revelation. And God doesn't just call him the serpent. He says that old serpent, the dragon. He's giving you a clue. Old in a reference to go back to the beginning of Genesis. Remember, he declares the end from the beginning. It is very clear that when you parallel Genesis chapter 11 to the end of the days in Revelation, you can see the agenda of the beast crystal clear. The people unite together as the old world order. Are you seeing it now? But in the end of the days, they're calling it a new world order where diverse nations with a great reset. In the book of Genesis, they come together with one language and they build a, and they start to build a tower called Babel or Babel to reach heaven, to wage a war against the Most High God. Instead of stones and mortar, which are natural and organic, created by the hands of God, they choose brick and slime. These are man-made by mixing elements together. Remember that we are built up as the temple of God. We are stones, the Bible says. We are untouched. Change. We remain organic and natural. Our genetic makeup has not been changed. I need you to see this. Please pay attention. Remember, Babel, Babylon, this means confusion by mixing. But the word says that God is not the author of confusion. Notice he specifically emphasizes on that because Satan, the dragon, is the author of confusion. Because Satan wants to bring confusion. His number one goal 